Hello, welcome to the Andrew Lavery Show, where we talk about investing in the stock market. In this video, we are going to use my dividend calculator that you see here on the screen that I built myself in Excel. And we're going to pretend that we're investing consistently every single month in the real estate investment trust called Federal Realty Investment Trust, or FRT for short, that's the ticker symbol. And we're going to see how much money could FRT potentially pay every single year in annual dividend income, especially in the long run, and how much would the shares be worth potentially in the long run as well. Before we move on, I want to encourage everyone to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. All right, so uh, a few things I want to mention here real quick is that this dividend calculator reinvests dividends automatically. So it's just, that's just the way it's built. There's no way to turn that off. And this dividend calculator also is just estimates only because no one can predict the future. So I want to point that out. Uh, right here, we're on the quarterly dividend calculator. There is a monthly version, but uh, FRT pays quarterly, so we'll stick to the quarterly calculator. Now, uh, we'll focus here on the snapshot section, but... Um, the snapshot section is fed from this side of the calculator where instead of getting five-year increments like you see over here, we're actually getting every single year and every single month. Um, you're getting it break, broken down that way, going all the way up to, uh, coming up here, all the way up to 45 years, you can see here on the screen. So, uh, But we're going to focus on snapshot section, so let me scoot on over there, get on here, uh, come down just a little bit, perfect. And I uh, just need to put some inputs in here real quick. So the average dividend yield, I've already figured that out, is 3.33%. The annual dividend per share, the current annual dividend, is $4.28 a share. And the compound annual growth rate, which I always use the five-year. You can use something different if you like, but I prefer the five-year compound annual growth rate, which is 2.1%. So just to put in a monthly investment amount to start, I always start low and work our way up. And start off at $50. And you can see here, um, after five years, you're making uh, just just shy of $113 a year in annual dividend income after five years of investing. Um, oh, another thing I want to point out is that this total invested amount is your monthly investment times 12, 12 months that is, times however many years, um, depending on the line that you're on. So this does not include dividend money that you reinvest. Um, but yeah, you're getting just, just $113 after five years. And, uh, you know, it's... it's Risk respectable, you know, the yield on cost is 3.77%, which is going to be very low because you're not that far and you haven't been investing that long. Five years in the grand scheme of things is not very long. But when you look down here, the yield on cost is so ridiculously low. This is where I really expect to see higher yield on cost is down here in these later years, like year 30 and beyond. Um, but you're not even breaking 10% in year 30. You're not even breaking 9% in year 30. Um, and we're under 15% in year 30. In year 45, that's very, very low. So my guess is that when we bump up this monthly uh, investment amount a little later in the video here in the next minute or two, um, this annual dividend income is, is going to be very, very low. Um, but we'll see how it is here. Uh, let's bump this up to, we'll bump it to 200 Yeah, $200 a month after 45 years is getting $15,000 a year. Now, and keep in mind, you know, this is, you know, the, the dividend income is completely passive. You don't have to work for it. FRT does have a good track record of increasing their dividends. Um, over 50 years, they've been increasing their dividends. So they have a great track record of doing that. However, it's, uh, I mean, not the best in terms of, you know, potential annual dividend income you can get down the road. There's definitely other things you can put your money in and get a better yield on cost for sure. But um, let's move on here. We got $200. We'll bump it up to 400 and you can see what the numbers do. Uh, let's do let's do 600 and 800 and oops, do a thousand. So, and you can see here too. You know, if you you know if you're investing in in uh, FRT, despite the fact that the annual dividend income is not the best because we have a very low yield on cost here, you still you still can become a millionaire investing in FRT. Um, you know, doing a thousand dollars a month. If you had a thousand dollars a month laying around, probably year 34, 33, somewhere in that range is when you would become a millionaire. Let's bump this back down, uh, 300. Uh, let's go 400, 450. Yeah. So about $450 a month, um, at year 45, you become a millionaire right about year 45. So, uh, it takes a long time, but you would, you could still build wealth with FRT. No doubt. I'm not, I'm not saying that at all. 
Uh, I'm not saying FRT is a bad investment either. I'm just saying that the uh, yield on cost and the return with regards to dividends is pretty, pretty low. Um, that's assuming they maintain this low compound annual growth rate because that's really what's driving it. So if this compound annual growth rate increases, say it goes up to 5%, then you can see obviously what it does to the numbers. And in my experience, what I've seen with uh, real estate investment trusts, they do have lower compound annual growth rates. Um, you can see in some companies, maybe they have an, a seven year, or, or it's not seven year, excuse me, a 7% or 8% compound annual growth rate. Um, I think I know, I think uh, realty investment, uh, or excuse me, a uh, realty income, ticker symbol O, they have, I want to say about three and a half percent, five year compound annual growth rate. So it's, it's very low for them as well. But, um, but if uh, compound annual growth rate can, it can increase, then obviously you're going to, you'll see some more money. But as of right now, the five year is 2.1%. So it's actually pretty, pretty low. Um, even, even when compared to um, other real estate investment trusts, I, th I think it's pretty low. So but that's just my opinion. Um, I hope this video was eye-opening and hope it really just kind of shows you the, the potential um, of investing in a real estate investment trust and just, you know, an FRT in particular. So um, one thing that people have asked for is to do a stock analysis video on FRT. And it's, it's a little more difficult to do a stock analysis video. At least I think it's a little more difficult to do a stock analysis video. I have the list of things that I look for. But I don't go to Yahoo Finance or to E-Trade. If you've seen any of my stock analysis videos, I primarily get all my information from Yahoo Finance and from E-Trade. That's the broker that I use. Um, but all the information I look, would look for for a real estate investment trust, I don't find on Yahoo Finance or E-Trade. I always go directly to the REITs website itself and find look up the, um, the quarterly investor presentations and just the, the quarterly reports that the, uh, that the company puts out. And, there, you know, I, I, I just do a search for the specific things I'm looking for. So, um, and what I've found, and with some of these REITs, I can go to a particular REITs website and find everything that I'm looking for. And then I can go to the next REIT and find only some of what I'm looking for. They just don't put out all the same information. So, um, it makes it a little harder to do the video. Plus, with the websites being different and the quarterly presentations being different, you know, depending on what company you're looking at, um, it's all laid out differently. It's a little harder to find. Um, I have to really scan through and kind of dig a little deeper to try to find the information that I'm looking for. So it makes it a little more difficult to do the stock analysis video. So what I'm going to do instead is do a stock analysis um, or, or just like an overall video of what I look for in a REIT itself. So I'll go through, I'll list everything out that I'm looking for, why am I looking for, and lay it all out in a video. And then you all can take that information and then apply it to your analysis of any particular REIT that you're considering investing in. So you can, you understand what I'm looking for, why am I looking for, and then you can use that information if you like and apply it to your analysis um, that you would do on a REIT. So that's what I'm working on right now. I'm working on that video now to show you what it is I, that I look for in REITs and I'll get that out to you really, really soon, as soon as I possibly can. But um, definitely leave comments down below. Any questions, any concerns, uh, feedback, anything like that, leave those down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from everybody. I hope this video was helpful to you. I hope the channel is helpful to you. Don't forget to hit, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I post new videos all the time. Take care. Bye-bye.